Hey there guys, welcome back. You're watching the first crew. We're playing American Truck Simulator. I've been talking about uh, starting some videos that kind of, well, well, basically instructional videos where we're gonna learn about, you know, mechanical stuff, how retarders work, how engine brakes work, manual and automatic transmissions, two stroke and four stroke, um, passive and active regen, current regen technologies, future technologies that are going to be getting rid of the current regen system. But I figured before I fired those up, I see a lot of people talking about how much difficulty they're having backing up trailers. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock out a quick job here. Not sure where we're going to park this trailer yet. But I will tell you one thing right off the bat. The most important thing that you can do first is get set up right for where we're, for where you're trying to back up. Um, that that'll that's half the battle. I mean, if you can just set yourself up right, you're basically going to try and make it make the backing up part as easy as you possibly can. All right, guys, what we're doing here is we're going to cover moving the trailer effectively okay and what we're going to do right now is see the lane where, how we're in this right lane here the the way that we're facing you know, well, the way we're facing we're in the left lane but the way the camera is facing we're in the right lane we're going to take this whole truck and we're going to move it over into the left lane okay and we're not we're going to not touch the yellow line either okay and the reason i want to show this is because i see so many videos where people are backing up and they don't take a few feet to whip their truck the other direction and set themselves up so they spend so much extra time and extra space trying to move over basically okay so what I mean is they would do something like this okay because they know they need to try and get those trailer tandems over there right they're like all right we're good and then at this point, they would try backing the trailer up. See? And now where are you? You're in the same damn spot as you were when you started out with. All right, now we're back where we were. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what I mean. All right, so here we are. We come out this way. We come out this way, but now to help ourselves out, whip the truck the other direction. And bam, we're already set up. I actually even went a little bit too far. And it's just a matter of following the trailer in with little movements. But the setup is half the battle. All right, now we'll go back the other direction. All right, so we know we need to get our trailer over that direction, all right? Hey, look, it's ready, right? Wrong, by the time you back up and try and get your truck back under your trailer and face the right direction, you've already backed into the other lane, okay? Let's straighten ourselves out now. Let's get ourselves ready to, to turn this thing. See, now we're slightly cocked that direction because that's the direction the truck needs to be in relation to the trailer so that we can start backing this thing up. So there's that. All right, let's do it one more time. And we're even gonna swing this direction to really screw our tandems up. Luckily, Peterbilt donated this truck for testing purposes, so they expect a few fender renters. Plus, I've got a magic marker. 
Okay. Now, here we are, but let's go ahead and straighten the truck up. We've actually even went a little bit too far. Let's just say... I would have stopped it more like right here and then start cutting. And I'm aimed at it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna go over, I've actually came in here and turned around, is, uh, is the amount of space that you need to turn a trailer around, okay? See how much space we got here? It's not as wide as the truck is long, but all we really need is a space that's a little bit wider than the trailer is long, okay? Because we're gonna be doing most of the tight maneuvers with a truck somewhere around 90 degree angle to the trailer. So we just need, you know, the length of the trailer for sure, plus the length that the truck sticks out on the side past the trailer when you're at 90 degrees, plus a little bit of room to maneuver but it doesn't take much. Okay, so we could move over to the right farther and set ourselves up better for this, but I think we're gonna be good with the amount of room that we got here. First thing we wanna do is get into a nice jackknife. But we wanna do this, we don't wanna to go too far because we don't want our trailer tires to get over here and use up our usable space. We wanna keep them as far over as we can, right? which also means we don't want to get the trailer cocked so far that direction that it starts um, pushing the trailer into our usable space. So what we're going to do is just use short but tight backing maneuvers like this until we've gotten as much jackknife as we can. That's about all we can get. And then we're going to start turning. All right, so let's drive in here and back this thing up. I guess what you could call the easiest way. We go this way. Let's try and get as close as we can as soon as we can so that we can get our trailer tandems over as far as we can. Okay? Now we're going to be steering at the last minute because we want to try and get our. Um, trailer tandems as close as we can, forwards, whoops. Because we don't want to run the trailer into those pylons. All right, now, at this point, you could start straightening out, but we don't want to do that yet because we don't have much room to straighten out. And then by the time we do straighten out, we're gonna have to cut the wheel this direction anyway to, uh, to try and get the trailer cocked in and ready to start turning. So let's, instead of straightening out and getting ready to back up, let's continue going forward some, okay? Now that's looking a lot better. In fact, let's go a little bit more, okay. Now at this point, we can start straightening out the truck and trailer. We don't have much room, so we can still straighten it out by making smaller adjustments with lots of steering input. So in a tiny amount of space, we've already almost got our truck where we want it. And you can see that that it would require almost no steering input at this at this time. I'm not I've got my wheels straight to get this thing caught where we need it and now we can start backing it in there. In fact I could have stayed straight even longer. Alright here we are we're gonna try and take this shredder in there straight on. Now what we want to do is get everything in there as tight as we can. So let's get over here as far as we can. And we're gonna start 
using little little tight maneuvers to jackknife this thing nice and tight. And then we'll try and get that trailer fifth wheel as close to that fence as we can. Alright, now we just need to turn this thing around. So we're basically backing the trailer up. Now we can start to straighten this guy out. All right, now the reason that I've continued here on this angle like this is because if you can set yourself up on an angle, then you don't have to mess around with the truck as much. You don't have to spend so much forwards and backwards movement getting this thing, um, get it, getting the trailer to angle. I mean, we're already angled, as you can see, because we need to move to the left. Now the truck and everything's already angled, so it's just going to be a matter of backing this guy up. that's it I mean we came in on the hardest side and it's really that easy Alrighty, let's see where they want this guy. Looks easy enough, but the thing is there's a whole bunch of stuff in our way. Okay, we've confirmed that our uh, drop-off is in here, right where you can see the where it says stop on the road. Um, so, and we need to be facing the other direction. So this one is really very simple. We're just Basically, we're gonna turn this thing around. I'm gonna switch views so you guys can see better. Okay, so see it over there. Now, I did go down in there first and back all the way back out just to confirm that there wasn't actually a way to get in there and pull straight in, and there wasn't. Okay, um, so there's two ways that we could do this. We could come from the right and turn left, or we could come from the left and turn right. Now, in this situation, it'd, it'd actually be easier to whip around this direction. So let's do that. If we can get in gear. Now remember what I was saying, it's all about the setup. What we want to do is get our trailer tandems where they need to be. And I always try and do this in the least amount of space as I possibly can. Maybe it's sadistic, I don't know, but anybody can pull forward six miles to straighten a trailer out. All right, now we're already angled some, we really don't need so much. It's just a matter of backing this puppy up. As you can see, I got no steering input at all right now. Because I was already set up with the angle that I needed just by setting myself up correctly. Alright, let's go ahead and start following this trailer a little bit. Alrighty, we're coming up on our next spot here. Looks like we're going to be delivering at Walmart.
All right, now this parking area is actually pretty simple. This is a really simple one. So what we're gonna do is see this line right here? That line that I just drove over with my with my passenger side front tire. We're gonna try and not go past that line, okay? That's, we're gonna pretend that that fence over there is actually right here. Okay, we're gonna try and complicate this a little bit. So let's get back where we were. Now, knowing that, let's go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set ourselves up, right? So since we don't have very much room to our right, first thing we need to do is create more room, right? We're gonna do that by driving to the left. All right, so we've came the other direction. Now we don't have to uh, spend so much time, so much room, basically, getting our trailer, you know, getting our truck spun around the other direction. Our trailer's already basically there. It's ready, it's done. All right, now, if I keep continuing what I'm doing, my trailer tandems are gonna continue moving past where I want them to go. So let's just stop what we're doing right now and get into a better jackknife. And you can really spin a trailer around on a dime. See, see what we've done there? Such a tiny amount of room that we're doing this. Now, obviously, we're way overcomplicating parking this trailer, but I mean, it's kind of too easy of a parking spot to really, to really, you know, practice on. It's just, you know, it's just too easy. All right, now, notice where we're at. The whole trailer needs to go to the left, but we're, we're at an angle. Notice how we're not coming in straight. So at this point, we can just about back straight up, okay? And we did it in, ju in just a smaller amount of room. I mean, basically that square right there. So it's amazing how easy you can do this. Now what's different? What's different when you're pulling a longer trailer? Well, a few things. Now, other than when the trailer off tracks, which is also called cheating, um, which is the distance, it's the area that your trailer's covering that's kind of inside of where your tractor's covering. That's why you gotta swing so wide. Um, you could think of it as your tractor taking the long way to get from point A to point B, and the trailer is cheating and getting there, taking a shorter route to get there, basically. Um, but other than pulling forward stuff, we're talking about backing up. The longer the trailer, when you're backing up, it is actually easier to control. Okay, and I'm going to, since we got a straightaway right here, I'm going to go ahead and try and exhibit that. We don't have another, another trailer to do a side-by-side -side comparison, so basically you're just going to have to trust me. Um, but what, what we're going to do is we're going to get these tandems on this trailer on this yellow line. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is watch this. When we back up, keep your eyes on the, on the trailer tandems and watch this. We're going to get all crazy. We're going to do all kinds of stuff with our truck, okay? Now notice how we're all over the road with our truck. And we're about to go through a curve, so this isn't going to be a very good... I'll go ahead and just back around it. Okay, now here we are straight again. See, we're going all over the place with our truck. And as you can see, there really isn't that much happening to the trailer. It's kind of just... in its own spot still. And the longer the trailer is, 
the more it's like that. The shorter the trailer is, the more difficult it is to back up because it'll jackknife faster and it'll get to the point where um, you can't back out from underneath the jackknife. Now let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, now we're, we're jackknifed as far as we can go. Now watch this. I can still get out of this backing up because the trailer's so long. See how our gap's opening up? And we're able to get out of this. Now if we weren't going to run into that store, you could continue backing up until you were straight again. If it was a really short trailer, you wouldn't be able to do that. There comes a point where the truck just simply doesn't steer sharp enough where you can straighten the trailer out by backing up. Okay, so so what I'm getting at is the longer the trailer is, it's, it's, it's more difficult to pull forwards because it cheats so much more than a short trailer, but it's actually easier to maneuver when you're going backwards, okay? Because you can basically have your way with it. Now, since we're pulling a longer trailer and there's gonna be so much more cheating going on or off tracking if you if you want to call it that we're going to want to get left to maximize our amount of space that we have on the right okay Now watch this. Let's see just how much space we can get by with here. And you guys know as well as I do that we could actually get by with a heck of a lot less space than this. And there that is. Big trailer, small trailer, it doesn't matter. Anyway guys, hope, hope this helped you. Basically just remember it's all about the setup. And you really don't need that much space to work with when you're trying to get one of these things backed up.